And now it's the Scott with strong views on stories in the news. It's Jock McVile with Get Stuff. Have you seen what's happening to the stock market? It's not just going down the dumper, it's taking the toilet seat with it. <laughs> On Bay Street, they're going to have to design a computer that can throw itself out of the window. <laughs> but we're getting the double one. While the value of our retirement stocks is dropping, the Canadian dollar is going down at the same time. Our economists are saying there's been a loss of confidence in the Canadian dollar. What confidence? We never had any in the first place. <laughs> Two teenagers in Truro, Nova Scotia, have been arrested for allegedly using a scanner to make counterfeit $5 bills. We've got to train our kids better than this. It costs more to make the bills than they're worth. <laughs> because of animal diseases in Europe, they're buying up all our bull semen. <laughs> Any day now, our newspapers will be going on about the semen drain. <laughs> Starbucks are moving into Quebec. What would they happen if they had to change their name into French? Star is L'Etoile and Buck is Antelope, so it should be L'Etoile Antelopes. <laughs> oh, well, they have to drop the S like Eaton's did. No, because it's not a possessive S. So that means... <laughs> Isn't that indicative how low this country has gone? I'm even discussing bull crap like this. <laughs> Canada's weather service has confirmed it's staying with the wind chill factor as our measurement of cold. I suggest they come up with three measurements. C, B, C and F, C. Cold, bloody cold. <laughs> and frightfully cold. <laughs> Heather Eastman says she wouldn't have paid so much for chapters if she'd known the company's true financial position. Heather Reisman and Jerry Schwartz getting taken on a financial deal. <laughs> right, that'll happen the same day that Stockwell Day decides to pay his legal bills. <laughs> oh, yes, stuff. Thanks for watching tonight. It's our last Friday night show this season, but we still have one more show. A season finale doubleheader, Sunday, April 8th at 7 o'clock. It's an hour, twice as long, twice as funny. Sunday, April 8th at 7 o'clock on CBC Television.